Russian authorities have issued arrest warrants for nine prisoners under contract with Russia's armed forces who escaped from a military training ground in Belgorod Oblast, local media in Belgorod Oblast claimed on July the 28th. The escaped convicts who joined the Russian armed forces likely in exchange for the opportunity of parole include two convicts convicted of murder, three for causing bodily harm, one for unlawful confinement and the others for unspecified lesser offensive, according to local outlet Pepel Belgorod. According to a wanted poster shared by Pepel Belgorod, the inmates allegedly escaped on July the 26th and 27th. No details were provided as to how the alleged managed to escape the training grounds. The warrants indicate that the escaped convicts are likely within the vicinity of the city of Belgorod. Moscow has been recruiting convicts for its war since summer 2022, first under the auspices of the Wagner Mercenary Company and then directly under the Russian Defense Ministry. Toward the start of Russia's full-scale invasion, prisoners, even those convicted of violent crimes, were promised a pardon after completing a six-month military contract. Most of the convicted recruits serving in the Russian military were assigned to the Storm Z assault units, effectively used as cannon fodder and suffering heavy casualties. The situation changed in September 2023 when Storm Z was replaced by Storm V formations, the BBC reported. These new units reportedly have different conditions as the contract is signed for a year instead of six months and is automatically prolonged. Earlier in 2024, independent Russian media outlet iStories reported that now, instead of a pardon, the prisoners' recruits are released on parole, which can be changed into pardon only if they receive a military award, suffer serious injuries, reach the age limit of service, or the war ends. Dozens of men convicted of violent crimes were allowed to return to Russia following their service. In some cases, these ex-convicts were accused of new crimes. Fourteen people have been injured as an explosion occurred at the main plant of German chemical giant BASF in Ludwigshafen on Monday. The cause of the explosion is still being investigated. The explosion was followed by strong fire. Fourteen employees were slightly injured in the incident, BASF said in a statement, adding that they were receiving precautionary care on site. The explosion took place around midday in the southern part of the massive plant, which is the largest chemicals complex in the world. Footage earlier in the day showed a cloud of smoke emanating from the plant. Residents were initially told to keep doors and windows shut, but authorities in the western city later gave the all clear. There was no danger to the public at any time, BASF said. It should be noted that this was the second explosion in BASF's Ludwigshafen plant in recent years. In 2016, the site was rocked by an explosion followed by a blaze that left five people dead. Some 39,000 people work at the site. On the night of July 29, there was a drone attack on Kursk and Belgorod regions of Russia. Local telegram channels reported on this. As a result of strikes by Ukrainian kamikaze drones, explosions and fires occurred in electric substations in both provinces. No casualties are reported. The Russian Ministry of Defense announced that there were drone attacks on Kursk, Belgorod, Bryansk, Voronezh and Leningrad regions, and that 39 drones belonging to the Ukrainian army were shot down over the country by means of air defense systems.